What's up guys? So today I'm in my home gym. One thing that has always been missing is a piece of cardio equipment. And I was exploring looking at folding treadmills because I needed something that can save a lot of space but give me high performance as well. That's where I came across this company. This is the Kingsmith Walking Pad X21. It comes in at $1,099. It's not the cheapest treadmill on the market, but once you see how compact this is when it is foldable and how heavy duty it is, you're gonna be so surprised. And I'm so amazed by the quality of it. I've seen nothing but positive reviews online. And when I came across the entire walking pad range of treadmills, I knew I just had to get one. So I went ahead and bought the best one that I think would be suitable for my needs. You can set this up at home, in your living rooms, in your bedrooms. It's so easy to take with you. Let's go ahead and unbox this package. Like you can see in this box is the entire treadmill. Can't wait to set it up, showcase to you guys how the display works, how to track your performance and how the treadmill works overall. So let's get straight into it. Okay, let's take this off. Start removing some of these pieces. Got a box here. And that's essentially it, it's just two pieces. You've got the entire folding treadmill here and that accessories box. So let me go ahead and take all of this styrofoam out and see how it looks. Okay, so in the box, you've got yourself the power plug, user manual, in all different languages, so plenty of information to get started. There's a guide for initial use, which is probably the most useful one. We have some lubricant oil. This is the safety clip. So if you do maybe fall off the treadmill, it will automatically stop. You have an Allen key. And finally, you have yourself the bracket or the stand to mount your phone or your tablet which I will be putting on and I will be showcasing putting my iPad and also my phone just to see how that looks with it attached. So very simple, very straightforward. Let's go ahead and set up the treadmill. And there we go. It's ready to almost start using. All I need to do is just connect it and unfold it. A couple of things I just need to unwrap from the handle on the side. Just to show you at the bottom, that's where the power plug will go. Then you also have a safety on off switch. If we come over to this side, you'll have yourself the digital display along the top of the handle. And I will be showcasing all of the different things that are displayed onto it. Let's go ahead and put this safety clip inside there. There we go. And this will be clipped onto your shirt. Just some safety information here. So when you're ready to unfold it, the side that has the power adapter in, that's the side that will face the wall and you unfold it the opposite direction. But when you finish using it and you wanna place it against the wall, then have that power section facing outward so you can lean the flat side of this device against the wall like that. So to unfold it, it's pretty simple. You've got this black lever here. What you need to do is pull this up whilst holding the main handrail and then just pull this back. It will unfold once. Then you grab the second part and unfold it again. And then pretty much you're ready to use it. To connect the shelf for your tablet or your phone, you have two screws that are already underneath this handrail right there. You need to just put it in there shift it to the side and it will slot into place which i'll also be showing next so lift the handle pull it back second one there's no handle for this one you literally just pull that one back and then you put a little force and then it's pretty much ready to use let's go ahead and put the little shelf on top of this so you literally just line it up i'll move the safety key out of the way for now There we go, that's locked into place. I've plugged this in. Now, all this left to do is simply just turn it on and now to test it out. What I also recommend in the user manual, there's a QR code. If you download and link this to the KS Fit app, it's recommended to use the app with this as well, just so you can maximize all of your performance metrics. Okay, I've now turned on the treadmill. You can see within the handle, there's a very nice digital display there. You've got the time, your speed, this is the menu button to start and stop the treadmill. 
then you have the distance and the calories burnt, all of the main metrics that you'd like to use. I've just connected my iPad to the KS Fit app and I've just turned on the search I've registered. It's now picked up the treadmill via Bluetooth, so let's go ahead and connect this for the first time. That was very quick and easy to be honest. Had no issues. Let's go ahead. Experience now. So everything's connected. Now I've just made this a little bit larger for my iPad. So I've got the walking pad X21 renamed there at the top. If I just go into the settings here, this is connected via Bluetooth already. And you can see from the handle here, it says app connected. You can also press this to start, or you can actually press the option inside the app to actually start the machine. You can also set your maximum speed and your startup speed here. You can child lock this. You can change your metric units. So I've set it to metrics instead of to imperial. And then you can also unbind this app if you'd like to. If you go back, if I hit go, you'll see there's a countdown timer. And now the treadmill has started. There you go. So you can use this to control the treadmill itself, or you can just monitor everything from here and use this big button there to start stop. Obviously you get more options if you do use the app, which I do recommend. I didn't have any problems setting up the app. It is pretty straightforward. You can also tap anywhere in the area here on any of these metrics and change what type of display of the data you'd like. So you have six different areas of metrics here. So I've got kilometers there, calories, steps, current speed, kilometers, average speed. I've got kilometers twice. So if I wanted to change that one there at the bottom, I can change that to current pace, for example, and then that will be listed there. So you can tap any one of these six and change it to whatever you like. It's very customizable and I think it looks quite good. If you also wanted to change the speed to a higher number or a lower number quickly, just select this option on the left on the app. Then you can go to any of the preset ones or just go into increments of 0.5 very quickly. So if I just wanted to go to nine straight away, this will go straight to nine and the treadmill will start going a lot faster towards nine. It saves you from having to twist the knob all the way up to nine. And then you can go back down to three you can even do plus and minus from there and it slows down and it's a quick and convenient way to increase or decrease your speed as quickly as possible. I'm going to just move the orientation of this like that and now I'm ready to start testing out this treadmill. I've also got the speed here, the time, it's very quick and easy. You also have a little notification of where you can actually hold your hand just at the end. This has also got NFC on there so if you wanted to connect your phone directly to the app by NFC you can just hold it against that once you do turn on the treadmill and you do have the hand area listed there on the left hand side as well so now there's nothing left to do other than to try out and see how this performs now I'm walking on this at speed 3 and it does feel pretty comfortable to be honest I don't feel like the belt is shaking or it's loose or anything like that it's very similar to just walking on a traditional treadmill at the gym what I like to do is now test this at a little bit higher speed and see how well it performs without me having the need to hold on to the handrails. So I can pre-select a speed, I'll go to six and then I'll go to nine. And I've got the belt clip connected just for safety. So this is speed six. Let's go over to nine, start jogging. the iPad this way let's go down Okay, I'm back down to three. Okay, now I'm on speed two. It felt pretty normal to be honest. I didn't feel like I was going to fall off at any point when I am sort of jogging on higher speeds. 
and I feel like I can use this to get my 5k run in. It shouldn't be a problem at all. I just really like the information about having your steps in there as well and all of the different metrics displayed on the app in addition to the handle. But one thing I did notice when I was running at higher speeds is that the iPad does start shaking quite a bit. I couldn't have it in portrait view because it maybe would have fallen off. Even on landscape view, it did start moving to the right hand side. So I felt like maybe I can place this on a shelf on the wall behind it instead of on this bit, just in case I don't want it to go flying off if I do start running at very high speeds. And to stop the treadmill, you can just press on this. This will essentially pause it, but if you wanted to turn it off and complete your workout, you either hold it down for a few seconds to turn it off, or you press it one more time to continue. So if I turn it off, I'll just hold it down. There you go, the blue light confirmation is now finished. So you'll have to start a new session for the next time. And then all of these metrics will get reset to zero. So that's it guys, overall I'm so happy with this purchase and although it might seem quite expensive for a treadmill that you're going to have for many many years and it's very durable, it's heavy duty, it does the job and I've experienced no fault setting it up for the first time, I think this is quite good value for money. I do recommend you guys check out the walking pad website, they've got a whole bunch of different variations of this double folding treadmill, they've got plenty of options and various different price ranges and designs to fit the needs of pretty much everyone. So you can get some treadmills which are a lot cheaper than this. I decided to get this one because I wanted something a little bit more heavy duty as kind of like a permanent place to put it inside my home gym here. If you wanted something a little bit more lighter, more portable, even ones that you can put underneath your desk as like walking treadmills whilst you're working, they have options for them as well. So definitely check out the link in the description below. They've won so many different awards with this type of double folding design. At first, initially, I was skeptical if the double folding would cause any problems with the belt. But indeed, the way they've done this, I just think they've you know hit the nail on the coffin there. And then when you're ready to fold this and put it away against the wall, it's very simple. Make sure you turn it off at the back. Just grab with both hands fold this back part look for that release handle at the bottom make sure you pull that out so that this can fold upwards and just hold on to the handrail here there we go it's this handle there and that's it you turn it around you place it against the wall and you're pretty much finished so hopefully you found this review useful guys hopefully you guys like the design of this folding treadmill if you did make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up Make sure to subscribe. I've got new videos out every week reviewing really cool gadgets and tech items and also fitness items, much like this folding treadmill. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.